Hi guys, so welcome back to our challenge number two. Find customer referee. The challenge number two of SQL 50th question. This question is also the easy level question. So the title of this question is find customer referee. The SQL schema says that table customer has been provided to us and the column names are ID name referee ID where the type are integer variable character and the referee ID is also ID. The description they have provided as ID is the primary key column for this table. So basically primary key is the unique key of any table. Here the ID is our primary key. Each row of the table indicates the ID of customer, their name and ID of customer who referred them. So the ask question the challenge is write an SQL query to report the name of the customer that are not referred by the customer ID is equals to 2. Not referred by. So basically we are going to write the query where the record will be written where ID will not be equals to 2. So here again the return of the uh, result table in any order there is no restriction right here. The input table should be like this where some of the referee ID are also null and some are 2 and some are 1 right. So the null statement will make a little problem for us. The output should be like this because Will has a null value, Jane has a null value, Bill has a null value and Zach has one referee ID. So basically it has excluded all the, those records where the referee ID is 2. Now let's just go on to our SQL query right. So first we have to write select a statement and we have to pass here the name because they are providing us the output as name. We will be returning only name right here. So we have written the select name from the table. The table name is customer. So when you just scroll up and go see the table name that is customer right here, just copy and paste over here. You, where you have to write the clause of that statement, the condition right here, that is actually the referee ID that based upon the referee ID. So where the referee ID is null is not null or null. Basically they are saying us you have to show all the record excluding the ID number 2. So we have to write here as referee ID is null and the referee ID is equals to 1. Right? So according to their output when I just run that script that I have write, written over here so it will show us the wrong answer. Why there is a wrong answer right here because I have put the and clause right here it should be or. So when I just run that file again that is script that is now been ex accepted and the case one is now been resolved. All right, so the uh, output and the expected output is same, right? So are we eligible to go and submit our answer? So basically, by the way, this is only case number one. So when you just go, as you can see, the case one has been solved. As you can go and just press the submit button, it will show you the wrong answer right here. And the reason behind that is, the wrong answer the reason behind that is one out of 19 test cases pass only one test case has been passed out of 19 other than one 18 test case has been failed so now it is just showing us the expected should be what if the georgie and christian will be added into that table in which they haven't provided the georgian and christian record so let's assume what if their ID will be more than 2, it may be not null, it may be 3, 4, 5, any other than 2. So for that case, you have to put the second clause as referee ID that is not equals to 2 and when you just write over here, 
because the id is 2 that will be not referred by so i have just put the clause a statement as referee id will not be equals to 2 other than 2 it will accept everything right so when you just run that file again and check the test case so it will show you the test case number 1 has been cleared and when you just press the submit button and you just go and check out the result over here so it has accepted our answer because we have cleared all the 19 test cases in 7 minutes so basically we have beaten again 42.11% of the contestant of this question so we have congratulations we have just solved the problem number 2 as well right so just press the submit button over here and by the way we have solved our question number 2